there are other places where we need to relax our subtyping relation. And one of them is with functions. So let's take a look at functions. And we have Alice and Bob here as an example. Bob here would like a fish. And for our example, we'll say that a fish is a record that has an SD field for its size and the size is an int value. If Alice gives Bob a blue fish, which has both the size and a color, Bob will be happy because he got a fish. This blue fish will work out any place where Bob's gonna use a plain fish. Now let's say Bob is looking for a fish store. And a fish store is a function that takes in an int and returns a plain fish. He asks Alice to recommend a fish store. And she says, I know a store. It's called Bluefish R Us. It takes in an int and gives you back a blue fish. Will this store work out for Bob? Yes. And that's because Bob is looking for a store that returns plain old fish. And what he gets is a store that returns blue fish. And so since a blue fish is a subtype of a plain fish, Bob will be happy with what he gets from that pet store. To turn this example into code, we've got a function f, which is looking for a function g. That function g should take in an int and then return a record where x maps to int. Down below, we call f and we give it this other function. This one takes an int and returns a record with two fields, x map to int and y map to int. That green type should be compatible with the blue type, but right now it is not a subtype. This application would get rejected, and that's because our subtype and relation is looking for an exact match between tau1, tau2 on the left, and tau1, tau2 on the right. We'll need to revise the rule, and now we'll say that one function is a subtype of another if the return types tau2 and tau2 prime are in the subtyping relation. They don't need to be exactly equal, but they do need to be connected by subtyping. 